So I had this uh, IPM come in and uh, customers saying that the starter is spinning um, even when they take the relay out and uh, it happened after it was originally repaired. So they think it's in the box here. I think there's a short, so I'm going to test that real quick. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these uh, starter relay. I am then going to just check for a short. So uh, on this box, here we have, this is terminal 30, this is terminal 87, this is 85, and this is 86, okay? So uh, 85 is going to be, uh, if you look at the diagram, 85 is going to be the crank command. Whenever you turn the key to crank, it sends 12 volts through here. And we have a park neutral safety switch, which will be the ground control for the relay. So for the relay to switch, we need both the start command and the uh, park neutral ground control. Okay, and for the starter control to spin without the relay in, that means we'd have to have a short to either 12 volts, we'd have to have a short from 87 to 30, or we'd have to have a short on both of the controls for it to uh, work. Okay, so I'm going to check for shorts. First, I'm going to check 30. Now, this should be, my meter should be here. This should be a straight path to 12 volts. Okay, so that's right. Now, 87 should not. 87 should be nothing. All right, and we, we, we do have nothing there. So there is no short to 12 volts. And there's no short to terminal 30 because it would also be. Okay. So that there's no shorts there. Now let's check. Uh, let's check for the start control. Start command from the ignition. There's no short there. Let's check these two for short. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, I'm going to check for a short to ground, which I'm going to use the case, because the case is ground on this. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so there's nothing. So already, uh, we can be pretty sure there's no short inside the box. Uh, one last thing I want to do is I want to check the pin 87 terminal with the, uh, the output, which is C7 pin 1. And that's good. Another thing we can do is we can check the terminals. So C721, this is for one of them. Okay, so this one is actually 23. So this is terminal 86. We have it backwards from what the diagram says, but that's okay. Now I'm going to check this one. This one should be 21. That's good. So our relay is in a uh, fine shape here. So let's go ahead and connect it just like it would be in the truck. And to do that, I'm going to give it 12 volts, just like you would the connecting battery. I'm going to give it an ignition run command. This is when you have your ignition run. I'm going to give it a ground, ground to the case again. All right, so right now, this is just like how it would be in the truck. Uh, you can see I jumped up in my amperages there. Everything is running right now in the run command. So now I'm going to hook up my starter circuit, which we can see on the diagram here. Now I'm going to use a test light to get my starter. So my starter output is 12 volts. I'm going to go ahead and connect to that. And since it's a 12 volt output, I'm going to connect to it ground here on the other end of my test line and I also need to do the ground control can't remember if this one is ground voltage if it's okay and then this one is 21 so So this one I'm going to clip to ground. 
So this is the ground control for the relay. And now the crank command, like if I was to turn my key to start, it's going to be whenever I touch these two contacts together. This is 12 volt coming from the ignition in the switch. Okay, so I'm going to turn the run on. Right now my box is on, it's in run, now I'm going to crank. And right now we see that the starter is not on and the box is then run through this and it's not on. Okay, so now I'm going to send the start command, it should light. There we go. And I heard the relay switch. Take the start command off, go out, start command on. So the start command is in uh, good shape. Uh, so if you continue to have starting issues or, you know, a short, even where you take the relay out and the starter is still trying to run, then it's definitely going to be a wiring outside of the, uh, the harness here. So, and the connector is going to be this one. This is connector seven. So it would have to be uh, coming from this pin right here, which is pin one. 